the small intestine it is a narrow tube connecting between the stomach and the colon starting by duodenum and then by ileum it's formed by three parts duodenum first part of a small intestine it is retroperitoneal and fixed to the posterior abdominal wall jejunum continuous with the duodenum and forms upper left two fifths of the small intestine ileum forming the lower right part and forms the distal three fifths of the small intestine it ends by joining the cecum at the ileocecal junction jejunum and ileum have a mesentery attached to the posterior abdominal wall this is the jejunum and this is the ileum and this is the mesentery has free border containing jejunum and ileum and this is attached border containing mesenteric vessels at the posterior abdominal wall the duodenum lies in the epigastrium and the umbilical region and takes a c-shaped tube it is length about 10 inches and surrounds the head of the pancreas the duodenum is retroperitoneal so it is fixed to the posterior abdominal wall except first inch of the first part completely covered with peritoneum it's formed by four parts the duodenal ulcer are common in the superior aspect of the first part of the duodenum due to its poor blood supply this is the duodenum with different parts first part second third and fourth part first and second parts of the duodenum starting by first part the superior and about two inches it is directed to the right side the first inch or is free part because it is completely covered with peritoneum the free part is seen in x-ray films as duodenal cap the second part descending about three inches descends vertically from the level of the first vertebra till the third lumbar vertebra relation of the first part anteriorly transverse colon posteriorly hilum of the right kidney and renal vessels Laterally, right colic flexure, medially head of the pancreas. This is the first, second, third part, and this is the fourth part. In the middle of the second part, there is opening of the bile duct. The third part, about four inches, passes horizontally at the level of the third lumbar vertebra. Superiorly, head of the pancreas. The fourth part, about one inch lies to the left of the vertebral column on the left psoas major muscle it is the shortest part and directed upward to join the jejunum at the level of the second lumbar vertebra by forming the duodena duodenojejunal flexure on the right there is head of the pancreas and the aorta on the left side left kidney and the left aorta Duodenojejunal flexure, it is the junction between the jejunum and duodenum. This is the parts of the duodenum, C-shaped, first, second, third, and fourth part, enclosing the head of the pancreas and the concavity. The jejunum and the ileum, about six meters long, and suspended to the posterior abdominal wall by fold of peritoneum called the mesentery. The jejunum joins the duodenum at the bend known as duodenojejunal flexure, while the ileum joins the beginning of the large intestine at the ileocecal junction. The wall of the jejunum is thicker than the ileum. The wall of the ileum contains aggregations of lymphoid tissue called the virus patches. This is the jejunum here, and this is the ileum. This is the mesentery containing blood supply, the arterial arcades, and this is vasa recta. This is also arterial arcades, and this is vasa recta. Shorter in the ileum, longer in the jejunum. Mesentery of a small intestine, the jejunum and the ileum are found in the free border of the mesentery. Superior mesenteric vessels passes in the root of the mesentery and supply the small intestine. Jejunal and ileal branches of the superior mesenteric passes towards the intestine. Mesenteric lymph nodes 
arranged in three rows. Large sized lymph nodes lies at the root of mesentery. Medium sized nodes midway between two borders of the mesentery. Small sized nodes lies near the intestine. The hair, there is large sized lymph nodes at the base and small sized at the free border, then medium sized in the middle. 